Hello friends, welcome to Programming Concepts. My name is Amit and this is part 60 of ASP.NET Core MVC tutorial. In this video, we will see how to use Kestrel as a public facing web server in .NET Core MVC. In our previous videos, we already covered few concepts around ASP.NET Core app hosting. All these previous videos are related, so requesting you to please watch previous videos as well. I will share the link in the description. This video is about the Kestrel web server implementation in ASP.NET Core. In this video, we will learn how to run Kestrel via command line. This is the simplest way we can run Kestrel as a public facing web server. Because we are running it via command line, you can expect a major drawback like you have to start Kestrel server manually in case of any failure. Unlike IIS, where IIS managed to restart even if we kill process via task manager or process explorer. All right, let's go to Visual Studio. And this is the project which we are working with. Another important thing to keep in mind, although I discussed in earlier videos as well, when we are running our .NET application via command line, it doesn't matter what you specified within project file ASP.NET Core module parameter. Because this property is used when we host our application via IIS. All right, our code is already published to D drive. It is of type out of process. Let me stop IIS just to make sure our application is not using IIS. Go to IIS and stop the IIS. Let's go to the folder where we had published our code. Type CMD from the address bar. It will open command prompt pointing to this location. Next, we need to point our project DLL. You can see it is available within our published code folder. Now within command project type .NET and then your DLL name, which is proconcepts.dll in our case. And press enter. You can see in the command prompt that application is started and by default it is listening to port 5000 and for HTTPS, it is listening to 5001 port. Let's go to browser and access this path. Just type localhost colon 5000 for HTTP. And in a separate tab, type localhost colon 5000 with HTTPS. It will ask you to proceed for unsafe. Click and you can see application is working as expected. Next, you can check the .NET.exe via Process Explorer or Task Manager by yourself, just like we covered in our last video. I'm not going to cover in this video. Now, this command using port 5000 by default, and there might be chances you need to use some other port or you can say endpoints. We'll cover different ways of how to set URLs or listening port for Kestrel, or you can say listening port for ASP.NET Core app. Hope you like this short video. All right then, that's it in this video. If you have any queries related to the content of this video, do ask me in the comments. Till then, thanks for watching.